Hey guys, welcome to Typical Tech Lad and in today's video we're going to be checking out the latest iOS 18.1 developer beta. With this new release we finally get a few of Apple intelligence features, not all of them. So there are certain ones that are going to be coming in later betas but for iOS 18.1 so far we've got a handful and we'll be checking them out. First things first, Apple Intelligence only works with the device language set to English USA. So that's what I had to do in this case. As you probably can tell, I'm based in the UK. But for this purpose, I switched it to US. And also I had to set the region to United States as well. And I had to join a waiting list when first downloading iOS 18.1 for Apple Intelligence, but it got approved within like less than an hour's time. And we can see here, Apple Intelligence and Siri beta also compatibility wise you have to have an eligible device and that includes iphone 15 pro and iphone 15 pro max along with apple silicon ipads as well as apple silicon max so we're going to start off with one of the main features which is writing tools i am gonna just grab this long 500 word piece of text from chat gpt just some text regarding apple's history so to speak and i'm going to paste that into the notes app and we'll highlight all of the text and then we can see here we've got our new apple intelligence writing tools popping up proofread rewrite or you can click on this little button on the right and then a bunch of options pop up here proofread rewrite we've got friendly professional concise uh first thing i'm going to do is check proofread which should be okay because I'm assuming this was written with grammar and punctuation properly. We also have rewrite. You can click that. It will keep the main content of the article itself, but I will alter some of the words so we can see. I mean, it is a lot of text. And if I just click on original, you can see that's the original text there. And it's gone ahead and changed a few of the words around, but kept. The main story so we also have further options down here like summary so this will summarize all of the text and again you can copy this or replace it with your current text we can see them up here so if i hit replace it would replace the text then we also have key points so this is going to pull out key points from your text and then present them to you here again same options you can copy it replace it so it's condensed that quite a bit. Next, we'll have a look at list. And this summarizes all of the text into bullet points. I do like this little animation where it kind of goes up and down the text. And we can see it's just kind of bullet pointed. And then we also have table. So if possible, it will convert this into a table. Let's see what it does with that. Oh, not bad. This kind of based it on years. So 1976, Apple is founded by Steve Jobs. 1976, yeah. So it's done like a timeline sort of table. That's neat. I guess that works. And you can always switch back to the original. So I'm going to just chuck in some a smaller portion of that text just so we can see a bit better. And what I will do on this one is choose the different tones you can pick from. So we have friendly. Uh, let's come a long way from... I kind of start up so this is more obviously it just changes the tone of the writing so this is obviously going to be a bit more of a friendly one then we also have professional so it's going to make it sound more professional has transformed from a humble garage startup into a globally recognized corporation renowned for its groundbreaking technological innovations and aesthetically pleasing designs or we can do concise which i'm sure is just going to kind of shorten everything has grown from a garage startup into a valuable global company yep so it's a bit more straight to the point and then i'm just gonna add some spelling mistakes in here some punctuation errors things like that and we're gonna check out proofread so it does its thing and then we can see it's highlighted uh suggestions or words that it has changed or added punctuation and grammar so we can see rain punctuation should be inserted here so it's added a comma there. The word known should not be capitalized here. So it's obviously done that lowercase. Now you can go through each one. It was two ands I put in there. The word and should not be repeated here. So yeah, fairly decent job. These writing tools are available across, in this example, uh, messages. So we can, again, check, try the different tones. Friendly uh, changes that to hello, how 
I hope you're doing well. So yeah, you get the idea. It's just different ways. And those writing tools are available there. And we also can use them in Safari. So I'm just writing some random stuff here. But just to kind of check, it still works. I like that. And yeah, writing tools. So you can use them in Safari as well. I thought I'd check out if the wording's a bit more controversial and it says Brian Tools was not designed to handle this kind of content but if you continue I detest you with an intense hatred I sincerely hope you suffer a painful and miserable existence Wow, that's uh, one way of putting it And uh, let's try, do that retry I genuinely detest you to the core and I sincerely hope you rot in hell Yeah, so it's done a good job Next is Safari Summary So if you pop into Safari So we've got this article here on GSM Arena Shout out to them. And if you go to the reader, you can hit summarize and it will basically summarize the whole page into this kind of one small paragraph, uh, which is a really good way of just glancing at an article to get the main bits from it, I guess. Another example here on The Verge, this article here, as you can see, quite a long article. And if I hit summarize, it's again, just gonna pull out all the main bits from the article and put some it puts it into a nice little summary there. Next we have Siri, so just to start off with, this is just interface changes. I believe there's no link to ChatGPT with it at the moment, but I'll just showcase how it looks. Nice and colorful, we can see I've done this method of double tapping the bar and invoking Siri that way. So obviously you're not gonna get any voice prompts when you're typing, so nice little interface. I have to say it looks clean and I'm loving these colors down here shifting as well. So it's contextual, carries on with, it knows what you had already asked. So that's a good start. Noticed it's, it's, it's showing me my current location in, in that sense. So it wasn't keeping what is longer the humidity like? in the follow-up. The humidity is currently 57%. So maybe that's another bug or it's just a minute function. Can you write me a poem about flowers? The remote control by Siri. How does the deer remote control get lost inside the couch? When tween the cushion And yeah, I don't want to see if I can actually do any anything outside of its normal functioning, but clearly not. Multiple notifications from mail are summarized on the lock screen so you can see what's in an email without actually opening the app. And then when you actually look at each individual email, you can see a quick summary of the email presented instead of the first three lines. So in mail, we have a bunch of options as well. So I've got this email from Descript and you can see quite a lengthy email, got images embedded in there. And if I go to the top, you can hit summary. So it'll give you a summary of the email. And if you just want to quickly glance at the main points, similar to what we saw in Safari. And if you go to reply, you can pick from, it presents you with different options. I'll check it out or not interested. So it'll compose an email based on the context of the email that was sent to you and provide you with a, a reply. So neat little feature there as well. And then we also have call recording, which a lot of people have been asking for. So I'm just gonna invoke a call here. You get an audio prompt letting both people know that it's been recorded. Be recorded. Just testing the recording function in iOS 18.1. Want to see if it can create a accurate transcription and then if you go to the notes app where it gets saved you can play the audio back from here just testing the recording function in ios 18.1 want to see if it can create a accurate transcription function just testing the recording function in ios 18.1 and then in messages, we also can use the writing tools in here and you get these kind of smart responses. So in this in a message here you had, did you want to go grab some food later? Present and read me a short, two different options. Just your normal stuff here, I guess. Quick, simple things you can reply with on well, thanks. And in this one, when, I, when you posed a question, there was no suggestion. So I guess it is limited in certain ways. So that was just a quick look at some of the Apple intelligence features. Obviously there's a lot missing for image playground, Genmoji, the image wand, priority notifications, additional things from mail, the cleanup tool that removes unwanted objects in photos was missing. And obviously generally Siri integration with ChatGPT is missing. So I think these 
things will be coming in later betas so we're gonna have to kind of hold out and then we'll be testing those when when they do eventually get released so that was just a quick look anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next one take care